Hey guys, Dan Heilman here. We are back with another dislike video. Today, I want to show you my Kronos team. Uh, I didn't watch any guide videos on Kronos or APAP or any of these bosses because I kind of just wanted to, uh, you know, fumble through it and figure it out on my own. So I have a team that can clear eight uh, pretty quickly and I can't do nine yet or 10, but eight and seven give you a chance to get six star gear runes whatever these are called i'm gonna call them gear six star gear um and we get the speed set we get the set that gives you some turn meter and we get the attack set so good sets here you also have the accuracy rune um the hp rune and the defense rune so pretty cool um i love running the windwalker set with this accuracy set um on some of my units so i will show you how the boss works and just kind of show you my team. So, all right, let's challenge this one. I'll show you the run first, and then I'll go through my team, and I'll show you how I geared them, um, what kind of stats I have, etc. So I'm able to clear this with two level 60s and three level 50 supports. Um, yeah, let's just show you the auto run, and then I will go over the team and show you kind of how I built everyone. Again, I kind of just made up this team by myself and didn't really look at any other videos. So if I'm like way off of the meta, it is what it is. I only have one legendary in this team, um, and she's a good legendary, I think. Uh, Tiyut, or however you say her name. She has a uh, attack bar pushback and uh, two AoEs and some stuns. So pretty cool little unit. I like her. So you have two waves of three enemies, and then you go to the boss. And, get ready for the and here's the boss. So I got my buffer here. She gives me increased defense and increased attack. I have two healers and two damage dealers. Both of my damage dealers are AoE damage dealers, so... I haven't built anyone for single target damage yet. I've kind of just been focusing on one team. Um, yeah. Graphics are pretty cool. Music's cool. Um, this guy gets extra turns if he kills. I think it says... Yeah, if this attack slays a target, grants an extra turn. So you really don't want to lose anyone. Otherwise, he, starts, uh, he can like chain kill your team. So kind of want to build everyone. The first couple times I ran this, um, I had one unit who kept dying. I think it was uh, Mrs. Thick Thighs here, the one who does the increased defense, increased attack. And uh, so I had to give her a little bit better gear so she stopped dying. You can see I'm really staying alive pretty easily here. I might be close to being able to push it to level 9, but I think it's a pretty big jump from 8 to 9. All right, that's the boss. Pretty quick. I'll show you the gear, and I'll show you my team. Um, I don't have anyone really built crazy and maxed out gear or anything like that. But I will show you the team. All right, so my very first unit is TA. Um, she's mostly an arena champion, but she does have that attack bar pushback, which is pretty good. So... Basically, she has an AoE attack that takes turn meter from the enemy and gives it to your teammates. Pretty cool. And then she also has another AoE attack with a chance of stun. And then she has a single target attack that also absorbs uh, AP or turn meter. So she's got a lot of control. Very cool unit. And uh, she doesn't have a super high attack, so her attack is 952. What is the attack on... Uh, yeah, see, my Mona attack is 1255 base, so... She doesn't hit super hard, but I have built her to deal damage because she's one of my level 60s and I just wanted to deal some damage with her. So I'll kind of show you um, my, what are these called? Are these called runes? Relics. Relics. I'll show you my relics. So I have an attack relic here. Um, this one rolled very nice. This is actually a six star one. I just recently got this one and leveled it up to 12. This is actually one of my best uh, relics here. So that one's really good. Again, I'm focusing on accuracy speed and damage that's kind of what i'm trying to focus on here so this is my other one here hp um set and i got speed crit rate 
uh, and some defensive stats. I should probably lock that one. Uh, I got HP rune in this slot here. Rune, relic, whatever it is. Um, this is the speed set. I got HP, accuracy, and speed, and some defense. Another decent rune. Crit rate with attack, speed, and accuracy. A decent amount of accuracy. I'm trying to build a solid amount of accuracy to land her abilities. Um, because all of that turn meter pushback requires accuracy. I got 36% there. Uh, this one's defense with speed and attack and crit damage. And this one's with attack with speed, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy. This one is really solid. It's too bad it's not uh, a six star rune. Relic. Okay. Now my Mona, my main damage dealer, she is in the lifesteal set that you get from completing campaign. I think it's chapter 6, but don't quote me on that. Uh, and it is leveled up to 12. So I don't know if these stats are always the same, but attack, crit rate, they uh, rolled pretty decently. Attack bonus with uh, some accuracy, crit damage, defense. Crit rate with um, attack. This one's not very good. And then I have the crit rate runes to get her at 80%. Um, still a little bit far away from, you know, getting 100% crit rate. But this one has some attack and some speed. This one has some um, attack main stat with some crit rate. A very different thing about this game is going from 12 to 15 doesn't really increase your main stat that much. In some games, when you go from 12 to 15, you get a huge jump in main stat. This one, from 14 to 15, I think you only got like... 3% crit or something. It was definitely interesting there. Okay, and then my main support unit who has my best gear is Hang Yue. Um, she has this allied shield set, which is really cool. Um, and this one's just, I just built her super tanky. So you can see this one, all tanky stats. Uh, this one has some speed and some HP. And then I have the healing set on her. So I just kind of to get the tankiest pieces I had. This one's HP. Uh, more HP. This one has some speed and defense and HP. And some speed and HP. Okay. So just trying to make her tanky as possible. Same with kind of how I geared these two units as well. Uh, I have another healer in here. Chang Pu. Who's uh, decent. I have her in basically just tanky stats as well. But I did throw her in one of these... Uh, astral witchcraft sets so basically it gives um turn meter to anyone who gets a debuff a control debuff so it's pretty cool if you get slowed stunned um basically you get a chunk of turn meter uh which is pretty cool 40 percent turn meter so that's pretty sweet especially if you like get a stun on you it like basically gives you half your turn so you don't have to be stunned as long pretty cool little set um does not stack and yeah, I just built her tanky. Careful. Careful. You can see all my uh, pieces there. There's my stats. And the final girl I have in the team is uh, Yi Suhua. She um, is in a speed set because she's my buffer. She puts increased defense and increased attack on my entire team. So I want her to go first. Um, my other girl here is actually a little bit faster. So I need to speed up this girl just a tiny bit so she goes first before everyone because it'd be really nice to have uh increased attack so that you know all my damage dealers get a little bit more damage so okay and i just built her as tanky as i could in a speed set with some extra speed this one's nice i got two extra rolls into speed so that is a solid piece there need a couple more speed on her as i said um, as far as abilities and stuff, I do have her abilities leveled up so that her cooldown is here. I don't have a lot of skill ups uh, in um, my units here, but I did focus on her because I wanted her to keep these buffs up more often. So I do have that uh, skilled up there. I don't have any skill ups in her. I do have some skill ups in her, and I do have some skill ups in Mona. Basically what I did for Mona is, as soon as I got this one filled out, I kind of stopped because... I mean, look at how many wasted skill points just to get a little bit more healing. And she's in a lifesteal set, so I figured that's not too useful. Um, the damage on the A1 would be nice, but uh, skill ups are hard to get. So I only got one skill up in her. A1 damage. And um, I got a couple skill ups in this girl here, which is pretty cool. Increased healing. I'd love to get this uh, reduced cooldown. This is such a good ability. 
Heals your whole team and then dispels all the buffs and you get plus 3% health for each dispelled buff. Very cool. She also has this one that just automatically... She reminds me of... Uh, what's that girl in Raid Shadow Legends? Um, the red chick. Blah, 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 blah. I can't think of her name. Anyways. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, that's the team. I don't want to take too long in the video here. I just wanted to show you my team and kind of show you what I'm doing. I've been playing for, I don't know, 12 or 14 hours and I'm already able to farm some six star gear so that's really cool um i'm gonna start going through and just farming and um i'm also clearing now into hard campaigns so that's pretty cool okay that's it for the video just wanted to show you my team uh no idea if it's a cool team or not or a team that other people use no idea so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it go down there smash a like button sub to the channel if you're not already and have a great day everyone i'll be posting more uh awakened gas era content and more dislike content so if you are liking the content uh go down there and hit the like button thanks everyone see you guys